you ready, Bruce? I told you. No one can do my job but me. Exactly. We can't possibly hope to stop forces of planet apocalypse and dark side without Batman. Look, I know you're worried about Gotham while you're gone. He's gonna take care of the city. Look at me. I need a slew of people to protect Metropolis while I'm gone. I need Kara, I need Steel, I even need Crypto. The dog? Yes, the dog. Look, the reason I'm telling you this is because you don't need a slew of people to protect Gotham for you while you're gone. For the dark, brooding loner that you are, you know how to pick the best partners, Bruce. Years ago, when I first met Dick, I remember thinking to myself that he was a very smart, very tough, very honest kid. And he grew to be a very good hero of his own. Look, what are you worried? He's gonna do a better job than you? Come on, what do you say? I'll be in touch. ridiculous. So I arrested this perk, and then this, this Martian guy soared out into the sky, and there was this flash of light, and he was gone. And the weirdest thing when I was bringing the perk back to the car, I smashed a couple Oreo cookies. <laughs> That's got to be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, Glenn. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> look, man, this is Gotham City. It's the city of infinite possibilities. Oh, yeah. And look, the crime rate will kill you. I mean, you never feel like you're accomplishing much of anything. Which leads me to my next point. What? Jim Gordon. What about him? I don't like him. Glenn, you don't even know him. I don't care to. I mean... Look, I swear my father's great that he's in cahoots with that masked maniac. He's gonna be the end of his poison blue. I'm telling you this right now. If we had something like that back home, he'd have been shot dead the second he started taking cops' jobs. Letting somebody else do your job, it just doesn't sit right with me. Look, I came here to be the best. Because I am the best. Sure as hell didn't fly down from North Carolina to be anything but the best. Tell me, you and me, we're the best. We're the best. <laughs> Come on, say it with me, baby. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best, baby. <laughs> you still dating that Lindsey Drake? Nah, shit's gone cold for a bit. How are things with you and Julie, man? She's the one, and I know it. I'm gonna propose to her. Wow, Glenn. <laughs> I mean, congrats. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Shit, God. I mean, I wouldn't even met her if it wasn't for you, man. <laughs> now I want you to be there at the wedding. Of course. You're my best man. I mean, I'm not one for a public speaker, but I'm honored, man. Of course. Congratulations. Okay, good. <laughs> best man. Best man. Yeah. Calloway. Yes, sir. Now, run away. Lope, we're uh, heading downtown. Roland, settle up. Tragedy in Gotham today, as the body of Detective Glenn Calloway, 32, was discovered early this morning in his Bray Fogel Island home. We have been informed that traces of the toxins used by Pamela Isley, a.k.a. Poison Ivy, have been found on Calloway's lips. 
Isley has been officially indicted with suspected murder charges. Why now? Huh? Why here? Why me? You know, get someone else to do your dirty work. Don't lie to yourself, Strife. You've been doing it your whole life. When you get home, there'll be a package by your bedside. Take it or leave it. You can't just walk away from this, psychopath! For everyone, this is an exceedingly difficult day. Glenn Calloway had a passion for justice like no one else. I'm giving his partner, Detective Kalesa, a week off. I'll be speaking to Detective Strife and Kalesa in my office alone. For everyone else, good night. You're dismissed. I know Glenn was your friend, and I swear on his grave. I'm gonna find out what happened. You know how I feel about the hunks. Montoya, Bullock, Gordon. You know, Chief O'Hara spoke very highly of you. Your arrest of Harleen Quinzel was paramount in the subsequent arrest of the Joker. Thank you, sir. I want to promote you to my special task force. Do you think you can handle that? Absolutely, sir. Good. But first, a few things. I want to make one thing clear. When you're in with us, you're with a different class of law enforcement. We don't make small arrests. We go after the big dogs, the Riddlers, the Penguins, the Mad Hatters of the world. And our methods are somewhat different than the rest of the department. You answer directly to me. No more, Chief O'Hara. Courtney Collins. Roland Strife. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ms. Collins has come from Metropolis Major Crimes Division. On recommendation from Maggie Sawyer, she's been brought in to work in my task force. Strife, this is your new partner. I am personally assigning both of you to investigate Glenn Calloway's death. Great. Yes, sir. Well, we won't let you down, sir. Evening, Strife. We're just about to close up shop. Excuse me, we came to find some new evidence on the Calloway case. Well, there's none that I know of, and you are who again? I am Detective Collins. She's with me, Lindsay. It's our beat. I need in. Come on. Isn't there anything you can show me in your uh, brand new refurbished office? I got nothing, Strife. I'm sorry. Bye. 
Bye. Hey, Detective. What can I do for you, son? I want to talk to you about the Callaway case. Some rumors are flying around that there's been evidence with help from the evidence room. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Uh, didn't Loeb assign you and the uh, Metropolis girl to the case? I got nothing to say to you. Good day, Detective. Jim, please. Why? for Glenn. Well, I don't know if you know this or not, but Glenn was exceedingly paranoid. He had recording devices around his whole house. I met with Julie the other night. She gave me a CD of the audio files the night of his murder. Leave Julie alive. I want to see you look into his eyes as he kisses another woman again. Okay, you got everything in place. I think I'll be here any minute. Investigation into police corruption has led to six other arrests of accomplices in Kulesa's drug ring. Kulesa, Jim the Tower Nelson, and George Giorgio were all arrested at Gotham University's botanical grounds in late August. Though Pam Isley was arrested the same night at the same location, she was rumored to have been brought to the Arkham Asylum by the Batman. This brings to a close one of the city's most expensive trials. Once again, Commissioner Loeb could not be reached for comment. It seems somewhere out there, justice is alive and well. Indeed it is, Jack. Well, thanks again, everyone. This is Jack Ryder. And Grace Perez. Colin set Devin up. He didn't need to die. Death was coming to Devin, one way or another. Don't carry the weight of his death on your shoulders. There are a million more like him in this city. Devin went clean. Clean from cocaine, maybe, but not Aiden Spring. That's our next target. We strike at the heart of Thornhill and Isley's baby. What happened to you, man? Huh? Why do you dress up like... This and... It's insane. But what are you looking for? Gotham City crime to end? Joker's head on a noose? the same thing you are, which is, only you can know that.